two 600 milliliter pitchers contain vinegar. One pitcher is one third full and the other pitcher is two fifths full. Oil is added to fill each pitcher completely and then both pitchers are poured into one large container. What fraction of the mixture in the large container is vinegar? AMCH. Now there's two ways to do this problem. Of course, I'm going to show you one of the ways, and I'm going to show you the other way. Now, the first way is, well, just to see one third full of a 600 milliliter pitcher. One third of 600, that's just 200. So there's 200 milliliters of vinegar to start in the first pitcher. And well, two fifths of 600. Well, one fifth of 600 is 120. Two fifths must be 240. Let's see, it's 240. Now, to find the total vinegar, we just add these up. So, Basically, 440 milliliters, that's how much vinegar is in the, um, the mixture in the large container. And now all we need to do is find how much mixture there is in a large container. Well, that's just 600 plus 600 when we poured the um, 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 pitchers together. Let's see. There's me right on here. 1,002. And now, since there's 440 milliliters out of the 1,200, we just need to take 440 over 1,200 and simplify that. First, take away the zeros. It's the factor of 4, 11 over 30 as your answer. Now, there was a much smarter way to do this. Now, give a little hint, or maybe just a little logical reasoning here. Like, we see, we want the mixture, I mean, I mean how much vinegar that there is in the large container. Well, we want vinegar. We don't care about oil. So when the oil is added, the oil basically is just to fool us. The, I mean, it's not like adding oil changes the amount of vinegar there is. So really, all we need to do is, like, Find some way to see, like, like change these numbers so that when we add them together, we get our answer. Now, it's not like you know, we can just add one third and two fifths to get them. Large container, so what? I'm going to draw a picture, picture since I think a lot better in pictures than I do in words. So let's see, we have one pitcher. It's our first pitcher. It's not supposed to be curved. We have one pitcher and one third of that pitcher is vinegar. Say this much is vinegar. So when we take two pitchers and we pour them together, two pitchers say our large container looks like this. Well, let's say we split the second pitcher up into thirds. Let's see, mark that line so we know what the first pitcher is. Oh, well, this pitcher and this pitcher, well, now we're gonna say this part at the bottom is, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, one sixth of the entire thing since we just halved it. We have the one first since, well, there are two pitchers, we divided by two. And we can do the same thing with two fifths. And I'm try to draw that. I'm try a rectangular box, this rectangular picture. One, two, three, four. That's five at the bottom. Since we have two fifths of one picture, well, if we double the amount of pictures, all we have the fraction. Oh, that's way too big. <laughs> we have the fraction of vinegar there is in the new pitcher. That's one part, two parts, three parts, four parts, and five parts. So now we see this is two, 
two out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two tenths, which is which simplifies to one fifth, which you know is half. Uh, you, you know is half of that. So now all we need to do that's one six. That's see. One fifth. Now all we need to do is add these together, and guess what we get when we add these together? We have a common denominator of thirty, which let's see. Multiply by five on top and multiply by six over the next fraction. And when we add these, we get the same answer, 11 over 30.